So, today we are going to um, dive deep into this uh, subject that is how to overcome difficulties in relations. It's a very important uh, subject because we all relate with each other uh, and we all want to be seen, to be loved, to be respected. So this is a subject that uh, touch everyone around the world, is a subject that we all are touched by it. Uh, relationships, not only in romantic love, but friendship and um, parents, child. It can be very painful relations, but it can be so beautiful when there's true love um, and going beyond the relations, men and women, or men, men, women, women, what we call the romantic love. If we go even beyond, love can be so liberating, can be such a support for uh, people that relate with each other to support people to become really who they are to be authentic to wish them freedom to support them so they can really blossom and to experience themselves as the true being that lives inside so in my perspective relations are always uh, a mirror of who we truly are they they will mirror in a very very direct way how we feel about ourselves and how we position about ourselves how what we allow the other how we allow ourselves to experience relation and uh, how can we experience uh, what is love and respect and dignity and what is true care, true friendship, what it means, true limits for ourselves. So to start with this subject, we need always to come from a point of responsibility. That is, a relationship is done by you and someone else. So at least 50% of what is being created in the relation it's what you bring and you are the only responsible by it that's why the first relation of all where if we want to create to emanate to vibrate what means a true relationship for me for you for he for she it starts by the relation with yourself. So I would 100% advise that you invest in yourself, in your true growth, in your true expansion. And you need a lot of courage. And you need a lot of courage. But that will bring you so much dignity and so much freedom to face what is really there. Everything that happens in the relation, it's speaking to you and from you even if something happens uh, because the other person designs in a moment that experience the way you relate the way you express yourself the way you act for it and from it it's your responsibility it's your part so that's why it's so important that we really work in ourselves because we are all coming to relations and the way we re relate it starts from who we truly are and we are being still in a strong journey in a very deep journey to to, to find who we are in our authentic essence and i believe and i feel that most of our relations we start in a place of deep openness openness because this flirting in the beginning this passion this chemistry is supporting this uh, uh, that we are driven towards to each other because this 
new possibility to find new feelings, new thoughts, to interact for the first time or in a new way. They, have, they make us to feel a sense of new beginnings, of new startings, new possibilities. But as we see, after a while, what starts to come is the unconscious life that we all carry inside. So the more self-awareness work we do, the more we become responsible for our own life and we can take responsibility so we don't project in the relation and we don't make the other the responsible for what is going on. And we need to really rethink what is love because the way we have been relating for centuries, most of relations, they are based in needs. How to fulfill my need of belonging, how to feel, fulfill my need of being seen, how to fulfill my need to feel safe, how to fulfill my need of being admired whatever needs we have because somehow these needs that they are uh, the consequence of uh, experience that open big wounds in our um, being they were not healed that's why it's so important and i believe that we don't know yet has mankind to really relate with each other we are in a phase that we are opening a totally different era of relation. If we all know what is true love, I believe yes. Because we are pure consciousness. So when we have these moments where we allow all the boundaries of personality to relax, we have this experience of deep relaxation and a deep trust in life and everything and everyone. Um, we have these momentums where we can see the beauty of everything. It's like we enter in this blissful, ecstatic moment where even the most dramatic and horrible situations we can see the other side of the learning we can even experience and feel that uh, openness of true wisdom coming but somehow because we are not taught to live from that space or we are being taught but step by step uh, we can't really live from that moment, a static moment of, of pure consciousness that we are. So for me to start from this beginning where almost no one knows truly and recognize truly and remembers truly that they are pure consciousness, we can't relate from this love that we know that exists. Almost of us, we know there's something in this love that is so big, so um, embracing all, embracing at the totality without any kind of separation. But somehow we can't live from it. So first step, if you want to overcome difficulties in relation for everyone, you need to work with yourself. What is the quality of your relation? What is the truth under your relation? And you will go through, if you are really honest, to see the reasons why you are together. Maybe you really love each other. And what is love for yourself? Even if there is love, is it, it is transforming only friendship, but you are only together because of strong needs, uh, financial needs, uh, keeping a family together. What is really under 
uh, the the reason that you stay together. Even if you love, you can for yourself for you. Maybe it's not enough only to be with one person. Maybe you just need to acknowledge that and to be honest with yourself, so you can start to work with that to see where that comes from. If it's true freedom, it's an it's a true need of your experience in this life that you really want to experience different kind of uh, intimacy. What is truly intimacy for you? If it's correct for both, what is your agreement? So this time for relations, if you really want to overcome difficulties, you need to look why are you in a relation and what is the quality of the relation. And by this I mean, is this relation really supporting you to be authentic? Are you supporting the other to be authentic? What is to be authentic? And for that, I come back again, you need to go to your own wounds, to your own strategies of survival. What I hear in many clients, couples clients, when they come normally uh, to me, it's because they are already in a very painful situation and, um, and they don't know how to deal with the conflicts that they are repeating and repeating. One thing that always happens is the way they are relating uh, when the, the passion uh, that goes, when we start to go into intimacy and really start to relating with each other. Normally, the reactions to each other, normally the way they interact each, with each other is from a very childish position. Is the child that is still wounded, the child that is still trying to get approval, the child that is trying to receive love, to call attention. So this is how normally we relate. And to help the, the couples, the partners to, um, to let go for at least a moment the reactions that they are already addicted, the way they, they interact um, and to come to a place to see your partner has only just a human being that doesn't really know how to relate as the way you do and to recognize that we all have difficulties is something very important and if you really want to grow in your relation you both need to commit to that. It's impossible for one to do the work that uh, is the responsibility of both. So if you are in a relation that your partner doesn't take any responsibility and doesn't really think that they need to work, honestly, it's going to be very difficulty difficult because you sense that you open and you take responsibility but then if the other person doesn't do the same uh, what you will meet is always a wall of projections and projections and projections and reactions and what we want as a couple to do as a partner is to release these uh, boundaries and strategies of self-defense so we don't project and we don't react and we start to meet in a space where we can share honestly how we feel without attacking and how we communicate our true needs and to see where we can meet and to support each other to grow. For, for these people that they don't have a partner that you really want, that they really want to take responsibility on this uh, working in their relationship. I only remember uh, a tool, and I will start by this for you, that is prayer. 
stay doing your own work and through your own work you will discover a lot about why do you stay with a person that doesn't take responsibility that might help uh, open the door for something in your childhood how you were treated how you learned what was love uh, from the examples in your family it will bring so much um, memories and knowledge from your past to this moment so you really see where you are so for the ones that you go on in your work daily alone and your partner doesn't take responsibility uh, there will be a moment that you feel totally alone and and you will start wondering what are you doing there it's not because you don't love that person but because you are starting asking yourself what kind of love you want to experience and that's the big question for all of us what kind of love we want to experience just to resume everything starts by you everything that happens in the relation 50 percent of what happens there is your responsibility and why because it's not only what you you bring to the relation as an active part but how you uh, position yourself in the relation what do you agree with or not agree how do you set your boundaries and how you set your self-respect and how you respect the other how do you really um, trust yourself and the other and what you bring to the relation are you really allowing each other to support each other to be authentic beings or are you still playing games games that come from the wounds of your childhood from the wounds of toxic relations from the past where you were innocent and your uh, trust were totally damaged how are you relating and why are you still in a relation that doesn't support each other to be who you truly are and to find your authentic being and freedom so all the relation normally we have the tendency to put the responsibility on the other it's much easier but even if you are in abuse and toxic relation you need to see your part that is you are there and that's very important till you don't face that you are addicted to this relation and that's why you stay and you allow lack of respect and you allow love without quality you are just blind as the other part person that is doing the same and I know that no one wants to leave this. And I know that every of us, we want to be seen and recognized and loved and respect. But we are all coming from these big wounds, deep wounds that they blind us and they make us to be addicted to these same energy fields and emotions and patterns of spiral thoughts that take us to the same kind of relations. But the most important step in life, in relations, is to become responsible for who we are. And for that, we need to face everything that we have inside. And of course, awareness is a step-by-step -step journey that life will help us through experience for the ones that you have a strong longing for truth, a strong longing for freedom, you will see how that drive will help you to see where you stand. And where you stand will give you the key to open the healing and the expansion of the awareness so you can align yourself with your authentic being. So here you have your answer. Even if you change the person, 
even if you change the environment, you are still acting from what? From a wound that was created in some moment of your life that is in an unconscious, unconscious part acting out through you. That's why the more you work in yourself, the more you recognize the moment that you will start to behave, to react, to feel, to think in a certain way. The more you can work in yourself, you will catch, you will catch yourself feeling, doing, reacting, and you can what? Take a deep breath and stop this in a way that you don't react from that place, but you can in that moment to hold that space for the wound to be there and to really speak with yourself. Okay, this is being activated, but I'm not this wound. I'm not this behavior. And start to transform step by step the way you feel about yourself and the way you relate.